Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and all week this week we are talking about biosystems and ag engineering and Dr. Josh Jackson visits with us today and we're going to talk a little bit about this really cool project you have going on. So it's kind of kind of a unique aspect to it. We're going to be requesting uh, people take pictures of the cows and send it to us. So it's for a UK, we call it UK Cow Map. And you know, taking pictures of cows that's no problem for me. But when people think about the application of like, what are you gonna do with all these cow pictures? So what we're doing is trying to do facial recognition. So we're trying to, similar to human facial recognition, we're just trying to do it for cows. So really, you know, Angus are our most challenging because they have the dark, dark features, light, lot, not a lot of contrast, but um, we're really trying to get something where we have our drones out there in the field, or even if we have our facility being monitored, mm -hmm. can we see which animals are being affected or being influenced or even try to also identify if they're in the field, pink eye. So trying to discern you know, exactly which animals affected and, and we just need a whole lot of, of, of pictures. And you know, a lot of times if I'm out in the pasture taking pictures of, you know, it's baby calves and things like that, <laughs> do you need pictures of all different types of cows in different situations? So, What's the best? So I guess for us, you know, for really, for us to process, um, it's really best when they're in the chute. But if you're taking them in the field, you know, if it's a new baby calf, red calf, blue calf, purple calf, I don't care. <laughs> we'll take, I'll take any and all photos of calves. I'm just really excited trying to get their, just their facial uh, features primarily. So if you get the ears in the photo, make sure to get the muzzle, trying to get, you know, something we can discern because we're using deep learning uh, algorithms to we just feed it a lot of information and it does a lot of the hard work and heavy lifting for us to figure out, you know, what's the discernible difference between each and every animal. So mm -hmm. that's why we need a whole lot because we're trying to throw at least 10,000 photos at it. So oh, bulls, wow. heifers, steers, uh, anything and everything. And then we're also taking some of the bodies. So we're using some of the bodies to help us discern as well, you know, what physical features as well. And so it's, it's challenging, you know, there's a lot of challenges. I would say, and you know, where, if people are out there and they say, you know, I have a bunch of cow photos on my phone, how do they get them to you? So uh, part of it, we send it to the, our Gmail, UKCowMap at gmail.com is one of them. Uh, there's a, we have hashtag UKCowMap if you want to throw some photos on there. Um, so. You, Primarily through Gmail, if there's other ways, they want to try to get us to like Google Photos, we'll figure it out if they have a whole bunch of cow photos, we'll, we'll take them. Because, you know, it's, you know, the ch cattle change throughout the year, so if they get some throughout the year, because, you know, as they get in the summer, they lose some of their hair coats. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, a, that's a challenge for us to try to, you know, acclimate to that, or they gain hair coat in the wintertime, and then they sometimes cover their faces in mud, we even get a couple of those. You know, it's still good for us to try to help train our algorithm on how to identify, you know, what's... Uh, what's a good one to try to identify, what's a good one to just to throw out. Okay, and so if people are thinking about weaning calves this fall, if they could snap several of snap those several as they come as, through the shoot. As they're coming through the shoot, just snap a photo, you know, and upload it and you can send it to us, we'll, we'll be more than happy, more than happy, because that's really, it's have that uniform background, it's easy for us to pull out that calf's face and then try to process. So really it's just trying to identify, you know, what specific features for them can help us identify that specific animal. So. We're, it's, it's a neat project. It, does, it is, but I can't imagine the amount of photos that's coming <laughs> to you. Do you guys have a grad student that's up there just so working have, on these we photos? A, we have a couple of graduates and a lot of <laughs> undergraduates who uh, like to draw out, you know, and trace the cow's face. And so, you know, we've done this and we, you know, within a camera, we can see up to about 90% uh, accuracy to identify animals uh, within a day. Uh, between cameras on the same day, same set of cows, we can see that drop to 10% identification. So we see a lot of variation. It just depends on the lighting, the day, uh, but we still can, you know, really just trying to get it more and more. So we're not sure this is a, you know, end solution, but we want to just give this a try to see if we can really identify the animals. So that's why we're making this fa fairly unique request for photos of cows. Absolutely, <laughs> and, and I think that we can definitely help with that. But how many photos do you guys actually need? Need, need, I'd say 10,000. You know, overall, say about 10,000, we can, you know, make do with what we have. But if we get at least that many, that'll really help us, you know, hone in on what exactly, which features, and you know, the distance between the eyes, the length of the nose, the different aspects, which one of those are the most important for identifying animals. And so there's a lot that's going into developing this information. Right, and so we're trying to, you know, similar, we're using similar programs to uh, what they use in facial recognition for humans. We're trying to do our own uh, algorithms to really hone in on a lot of work's going into how do we identify these animals, because they can lose a tag. It's hard to see the tattoo in their ear. 
sometimes, or you know, they can even be branded, but you know the individual animals. So that's where we're trying to go is that individual animal identification on the farm if we're using a drone, whatever it may be, to actually identify them. All right, well, thanks for the information. Send in your cow photos. If you need more information, just contact your local Extension office. Thanks for watching and have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.